I shouldn't even be vlogging and telling this because this is such a fluke two days. That's what we do. That's how we do it. It tastes freaking bomb. And pack a lunch and like be mentally prepared to go to work. But figs are definitely the best and they're 100% worth all of your money. Leap is for the tired. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Hey. Good morning, welcome back to the vlog. I'm back home in Minneapolis. Today is a fun day because I'm going on a little work trip. So come along with me. Let's first make some breakfast before we get on the road. Hey, mister, what you doing? All right, so I got my toast. So this is the special sauce. What it is is balsamic, yellow mustard or any type of mustard, and then a little bit of mayo. It tastes freaking bomb. I eat this every single day, like every single day, no lie. All right, next, mashed up avocados. I probably didn't eat a whole avocado for myself, but my eggs, I usually like them a little bit more wetter than this, but I my timing was weird. And you get a good source of protein, a good carb, a good fat, lots of flavor. Colorful plate. And I still got some coffee left, but I'm going to sit here and try and finish my YouTube thumbnail for the post that's going up today, actually. Let me show you my new trusty old, it's not old, it's brand new. Uh, what is this called? A suitcase. I have, I got a base suitcase, it's the carry-on um, hard cover. And then I also have the base like weekender bag that I use as my carry-on. Like look how cute this little travel outfit is. It's a Balance Athletica sweatshirt with matching joggers, my bays matching suitcase. We'll put a little jaqueta on and call it good. Minute through TSA, but holy Jesus. I got patted down. TSA pre-check is the best because um, we didn't have to like get rid of any of our electronics, yada, yada, yada. We just had to walk through. I even kept my shoes on. I just had to take my jacket off, which was really nice. And then I got my boobs felt up. But, you know, whatever. She was nice about it. <laughs> Our flight boards at, at 2.45 and we leave at 3.30. So we got, and now it's 12.30. So we got a lot of time to just hang out and chill. So my Starbucks order, what I get? A chai tea latte with oat milk and brown sugar syrup. Well, we made it to Chicago and now we got a two hour and 22 minute drive to Costco to get right. gas. We decided to stop in um, a suburb of Chicago to get groceries instead of in Champaign because um, we would have gotten there like 20 minutes before they closed. So we might as well get groceries now since like we get half of our stuff in bulk anyways to get us through our eight day shift. So we made it back to the good old apartment here. Um, but so I forgot the key. So we're waiting for our friend Rick to let us in. But we got a poop load of groceries. So we're gonna unpack all that. Our place got cleaned while we were gone, which was super, super nice. Lots of puzzles, even more groceries though that we can even handle. Lots of prepping we'll have to do tonight. Sammy's 
So Sammy's, we do a whole pack of Hawaiian rolls. This is four days and then that's four days. And we do like, I get the ham, Aaron gets salami, and so we like split up between that way. So then we have our lunches like pre-made and ready to go. So that's just one less thing for us to like have to worry about and do. Um, most of the time during our eight days, we just have to worry about dinners, which we um, try to like make them as easy as possible. So that's what we do. That's how we do it. It all just goes in the fridge and then it's really freaking easy to pack. And I don't suggest microwaving <laughs> um, hard salami in the microwave for two minutes because it turns into like smells good. Crispy crispy bacons. It does smell good though. Alright. The lighting in here is super, super terrible, but I have to unpack my suitcase with all my scrubs in it. It's 11.22 and I have to get, be up at 5.30 tomorrow. So we're gonna try and do this really quickly. Like really freaking quick. Normally I'm not up this late, especially before a work week, but you know, shit happens. Okay, like life just gets in the way. Um, I have my, my swimming towel. Someone wanted to go swimming. My one and only set of PJs. I have a sports bra for every single day and an extra one for shits and gigs. I don't even know how many pairs of underwear I brought and I don't even wanna know because if I brought too many, then they just end up coming back with me anyways. All of my compression socks. If you're in the healthcare field and you aren't wearing compression socks, I envy you, because that probably means you have great feet. Also, I got some long sleeves from Walmart that are freaking amazing, not Walmart, from Amazon, that are freaking amazing that I bought four and honestly I could buy more but they're all like very pastel-y pinks and purples and I like don't really want to be like that girl all the time you know this is one of them it's beautiful this is another beautiful this is another beautiful it's like a mobby no this is the mobby fourth one beautiful and then I try keyword is try. I try to pick out my scrubs for like the morning so I'll probably wear a pair of figs. The figs are definitely the best and they're 100% worth all of your money. I tell you that my suitcase is legit just filled of scrubs it really is the only other clothes that I brought that weren't PJs was the clothes that I'm wearing and a pair of black leggings and a sports bra because I'm planning on wearing this to the airport again and I brought extra underwear and socks for my airport outfit and that's about it I brought I wear my tennis shoes my non-work tennis shoes in the airport and then I have like UGG boots for when I'm walking to and from work. And that's it for today. I need to get going to bed and I'll see you tomorrow. My first day of eight in a row. alarm went up at 5 30 and I'm really really tired but um, we can do this <sighs> oh Oh my god.
And I'm gonna call that good. Still trying to wake up, to be honest. But we're getting there. <sighs> Doesn't get easier, to be honest. In the mornings, I try to chug as much water as possible. Ugh. I love this water bottle, it's from Amazon. It was like 20 bucks and I actually drink out of this more than my hydro jug, so I said that's a win. Normally I prep my coffee so that all I have to do is put creamer in it, but I forgot to do that last night. Best cold brew known to man from the grocery store. To all of my non-dairy friends, almond milk creamer is the absolute best. Just like It's only 6.05. So, um, I just have to fill my water, fill my water, start my car in like 10 minutes, and then change. And I like having this extra time to like wake up in the mornings before our other contract we legit would probably wake up at like six. So five minutes ago. And there's just no way that I can do all of my skincare stuff and pack a lunch and like be mentally prepared to go to work. And just like that, I'm dressed. Alright, I'm gonna go start my car, but that's kind of it for the morning, so I'll see you after work. <laughs> We're gonna have chicken salads. Refill our lunches. Mm. Pulling out the meal prepped buns. Like, look at how easy this is. Lunch. Done. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. We're fixing up, or I'm fixing up some dinner. Erin made a beautiful salad. And with salad. And some chicken. And add some strawberries. I like my berries. Our old roommate left this sauce. It's Panera honey apple or something like that. Fuji apple. It's actually really tasty. Alrighty, so we're getting bed ready for bed. It's let's see, 8:48, and fill up my water bottle here. Prep my coffee. Everything else is prepped and ready to go, basically. And I'm actually gonna prep my greens. So to better my gut health, I have been adding Digize and then lemon and citrus into my daily greens. Honestly, I try to make this like right when I get home from work usually never happens because I get distracted when I come here 
And then I'm drinking this right before I brush my teeth, which is better than after, so we'll take that as a win. I'm amazed at how tired I am, even though I had one patient today. For eight hours, I had one patient. Just one. I started out with three. That's it. That has never, ever happened to me in my entire life. Hopefully we have a great day again tomorrow <laughs> and the next eight days. Honestly, I thought I should vlog this because I don't do this every night, but I braided my grease ball of hair so that I am ready to rock and roll tomorrow. I think I'm gonna do maybe like a bun in the back or I might do two buns on the side. I don't really know. I don't really have a plan, but thought it was cute. Well, I need to go to bed, so. Good night. So we get a little later each day as I go, but this girl needs her sleep. So packing our lunch, make it real quick and easy. And see that's all done. So I just gotta make my coffee and drink some water. Take my vitamins. There's never enough coffee for me to start my day, but she does taste really good. Our mornings start to get really routine and very laid back because we are so prepared and we want the extra hours of sleep. So every day it gets a little bit later and later. Sleep is for the tired. I already packed three. Okay, <laughs> but I already started my car, and we're all dressed and ready, and that's about it. See you after work. All right, so we just got home. Our car had like so much ice on it, I just carved a little like hole this big for us to see out of to drive our four blocks home, so. Thank goodness we didn't get pulled over by the cop that we drove by. <laughs> and tonight's dinner recipe is street tacos from Costco. If you haven't had the street tacos from Costco, it's so delicious. This cilantro lime crema, delicious, and they sell it in tubs. So we made it home in time to puzzle and eat and go to bed. Do some- And send our coworker to the ED. And yeah, we did send our coworker to ED for a dislocated shoulder. She didn't want to follow my volleyball skills. Do it yourself. Do it yourself. Relocate. Dislocate, <laughs> relocate your shoulder. So today was a good day at work. Had three patients, gave quality care. Like this, I shouldn't even be vlogging and telling this because this is such a fluke two days. I've never had three patients all 12 hour shifts, all 12 hours. But whatever, we're enjoying it for now. And we might extend an extra four weeks. Hey. Maybe. Maybe, possibly. We don't know. Don't don't ask us because. <laughs> Tomorrow maybe we'll never Because we probably won't know. I'm usually making my bed type of gal, but because we're here for eight days and we're working all of them, I'm not gonna make my bed because I come back in less than twelve hours just to get into it. I just took a quick shower because my body was gross and I just left my hair because we go grease ball till day four and then we wash the hair halfway through so that does less damage. Let's make this taco or two. It's fine. <laughs> and that's how you make a yummy taco. That was gross. Is it?
I suggested her looking. Got in some conversation. I think she rather her talk serious. Definitely chuckled. I'm so glad you're marrying her going. And it isn't like someone what? Who from the sky. What? Instantly your neighbor turned you into the cops because of your garbage can? It's time to do the bedtime skincare routine. First, wash our hands. Second, face wash. Putting on my clinomycin gel. And then yesterday I did my AHA cream, so today is retinol. And obviously for the lips, Aqua 4. And that's really it tonight for the skincare. I'll ice roll in a little bit before I go to bed and call it great. While I was getting my skincare all done, Erin was packing our lunch for tomorrow, which is the exact same thing that I packed yesterday. I forgot to take my green, so I think I'm gonna make it, have it prepped for tomorrow. Cause I already brushed my teeth. I don't, that's disgusting. Ugh, ice cold water and freshly brushed teeth. Ah, too cold. Whew. Oh yeah, I made a mess in my bed last night. This is the book I'm currently reading, Regretting You. I am 120 pages in on chapter 11. So dang good, I can't stop reading it. Erin already read this book. So it's really hard for her, for me to not make her spoil it for me. <laughs> it's so stinking good. If you haven't read a single Colleen Hoover book, um, we highly suggest Erin's reading Confess, which I read Confess when I had COVID and that was really good, I thought. Honestly, I don't think I've ever read a bad Colleen Hoover book where I'm not like hooked within the first 50 to 100 pages. But this will be book number three of 2022 to reach my goals. Good morning. It's day three of eight and I'm just about to do all my morning stuff. get out of bed today. Honestly, day three and day four, day five, like the three days in the middle, definitely suck more than the three days at the end, I think. I don't know, I'm just really tired. My hair is disgusting and it's freezing outside. First, chilly out here. That's for sure. My car is just a sheet of ice. Still. little chunk right here is what I got today. This is what I got yesterday. At least the back is getting better a little bit. Uh, at least the sunrise is pretty. 
I posted on my Snapchat or my Instagram story that I was thankful it was a little bit warmer. It was freaking 49 degrees or 48 degrees. It's not that warm anymore. Alrighty, I'm gonna end this vlog here. I hope you enjoyed watching our first three of eight days as travel nursing gone psychopath. <laughs> but if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below and I'll see you in the next one.